Hello friends, this video on integrals part 31 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 30. This is a special type of integration by paths. If you have this function of this form e to the power x fx plus f dash x dx, that will become e to the power x, x fx. I prove how to do this. Let me break this. I can write this as nothing but e to the power x fx dx plus e to the power x f dash x dx. So as I discussed in integration by parts, the choice of first function is very critical. So let's have our memory tip i late, right? Inverse logarithmic algebraic trigonometric exponential. Exponential is considered the last option, right? So I'll take this guy as second and this guy as first function. Why? Because exponential is the last possible uh, last option for us. So if I take this guy as first function, my equation is fx integration of ex dx, right? Minus f dash x integration of ex dx, the whole thing integrated plus integration of e to the power x, f dash x dx, right? So this becomes fx integration of e to the power x dx is e to the power x itself minus f dash x e to the power x dx integration is e to the power x itself and this guy integrated dx plus e to the power x f dash x dx. If you see both are same, this guy, this guy is same. So I'll cut this guys. So what I'm left with is fx e to the power x plus obviously one constant will add here because the moment I'll differentiate this guy or integrate this guy, I'll get a constant because this guy, I'll get a constant here, not here, here. So and that is what my RHS is. So I proved that this type of spatial integration where I have e to the power x fx plus f dash x, then it is nothing but e to the power x. Now let's solve some question. x square e to the power x dx I have to find. Let's have a moment memory tip i late. Inverse is not there. Logarithmic, not there. Algebraic, yes, I have it. So this guy is my first and this guy is my second. So this guy will become first x square integration of e to the power x dx minus d by dx of x square integration of e to the power x dx. The whole thing, again, we have to integrate with dx. So that is nothing but x square e to the power x, correct, minus x square integration is 2x e to the power x dx correct now again if you see this is also same multiplication of two uh, function integral same form formula apply do you have inverse no l logarithmic no algebraic yes i'll take this guy as function this guy is second plus c obviously will come here now so this guy will become x square e to the power x minus now I'll take in this fashion 2x, I'll take constant integration of e to the power x dx minus derivative of 2x d by dx of 2x into integration of e to the power x dx. The whole thing is again integrated. That's the formula plus c. This becomes x square e to the power x minus 2x e to the power x dx is e to the power x itself, right? Minus d by dx of 2x becomes 2 e to the power x dx and the whole thing is integrated. So this guy is nothing but x square e to the power x minus 2x e to the power x minus 2 e to the power x dx. Sorry, dx is gone now e to the power x itself because this guy is e to the power x plus constant. So if you take e to the power x comma and this becomes e to the power x into x square minus 2x minus 2 plus and constant and that is minus. Very simple application of integration by parts. And the, the reason why we applied again twice is because we know that this was x square, this become x, and I knew next time this guy will become constant. Correct. Let's take one more example. X log a. It's again this formula or memory tip I late. 
Do you have any inverse? No. Logarithmic? Yes, I have. So this guy becomes 1, this guy is 2. And this guy is dot dx integration, you have 2. The formula is fx gx integration is nothing but fx integration of gx minus integration of f dash x gx dx the whole thing again integrated right this is the formula same thing will apply here so log x into integration of x right dx minus dy by dx uh, sorry integration of d by dx of log x into integration of x dx correct the whole thing is integrated with respect to x so this becomes log x into into x square by 2 minus d by dx of log x is 1 by x and this integration of x dx is x square by 2 right and the whole thing is integrated with respect to dx plus constant so this becomes x square by 2 log x minus the cancels 1 by 2 x dx is again x square by 2 into x square by 2 plus constant so if we solve this further this is nothing but x square by 2 log x minus x square by 4 plus constant and that is minus very simple just remember this formula i late you know which one is first which one is second in this case log x was first x was second so i wrote log x log x into integration of x dx minus d by dx of log x integration of x dx the whole thing is again integrated with respect to x and then solve it to get the answer Let's have one problem, x square log x. This was x log x, this is x square log x. Almost same. Here also we'll form, have the formula i late. Do we have inverse? No. Logarithmic? Yes. So this guy became first, this guy became second. So I'll say integration of log x, x square dx. This is nothing but log x, integration of x square dx minus d by dx of log x into integration of x square dx whatever you get the whole thing is integrated with respect to dx so this becomes log x into this is x square this becomes x cubed by 3 minus log x in differential is 1 by x into this guy becomes x cubed by 3 dx correct and this is nothing but x square now cancel so what you get here is i'll write properly so that you will be confused this will become x square this was x cube x cube by x is x square so x square by 2 dx this is nothing but log x or x cube by 3 x cube by 3 log x minus integration of 1 by 2 x square dx this is nothing but x cube by 3 log x minus this becomes x cube by 3, 3 into 2 is 6 plus some plus and that is minus. Correct. Sorry, this is x cube by 3, so this is 3 only and 3 into 3 is 9 and that is minus x cube by 9. So very simple, not a great rocket science here. The critical part in this kind of question is you should remember I late, find the first function and just use the formula, normal formula to solve the question. Let's have this one more example x sine verse x. Again, let's have this formula I late. Do we have inverse? Yes, we have. This guy is first, this guy is second. So I have to find sine inverse x dx. Correct. Though this guy will be nothing but sine verse x into integral of x dx minus d by dx of sine verse x integral of x dx the whole thing whatever you get is again integral of dx correct sine inverse x you write constant x dx becomes x square by 2 minus integration of differentiation of sine inverse is nothing but 
root of 1 minus 1 by x square and this is x dx will become x square by 2. The whole thing we have to integrate. Correct. Now this kind of question we have solved. Correct. We have x square by root 1 minus x square. So what we can do is we can say 1 minus x square and we can plus minus 1 we can do. So if you see this way, this is nothing but sine verse x, x square by 2 are right here only, right? Plus, this is minus x square, right? So 1 minus x square plus, sorry, minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0 and minus x square will remain here. So with this, what happens is 1 by 2 any map common Yes. So what I have done here, I rewrote in this fashion because this I can write in my term which I like because see one this kind of formula I know root if it is 1 I know how to find this. So I what I did was this was x square so I said 1 minus x square minus x square so 1 minus 1 is anyway 0 but this I can factorize further and this formula I know how to find integration right. So this is nothing but x square sine verse x plus 1 by 2 integral of if you see this become nothing but root of 1 minus x square dx and this is nothing but minus 1 by 2 integral of 1 by root 1 minus x square dx correct now we know how to find the integration of this integration of this we'll do that it's nothing but x square sine verse x plus 1 by 2 this is what integration of 1 minus x square dx is nothing but I'll write here 1 by 2 or x by 2 root 1 minus x square correct plus 1 by 2 sine inverse x minus this guy becomes this is nothing but sine inverse x plus some constant. So if you solve this further, this is this is nothing but x square by 2 sine inverse x in this if you see this is uh, 1 by 4 sine inverse x minus 1 by 2 so it is plus 1 by 4 sine inverse x right and this is plus x by 4 root 1 minus x square plus some constant thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again